Hey, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how I lower uh, my Husqvarna FE350. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotec. Switching over to the 787. I'm uh, five foot ten, and when I'm sitting on the bike, I barely reach uh, with I tiptoe reach uh, the floor, and I specifically got the the Husky. Uh, I could have chosen to get the KTM or the Husky, same model. I went for the Husqvarna because they have the link system, the rear suspension link system. So I went ahead and uh, purchased the. Uh, the link that's that's supposed to lower the bike by an inch, an inch and a half. So I'll be installing it today and just twenty three and three eighths. Twenty three and three eighths. All right. Take the bike outside where there's more light. Lift it up and uh, it should be an easy, an easy two bolts using a, a Zeta link. It's supposed to like lower it by a, an inch and a half. It's pretty nice actually. Look at the nice color, blue. Goes nice with my Husky. These are the two bolts that we need, the nut and the nut over here. That's the original, the original, original link. And we're gonna lower it, replace it with this one. Apparently, it changed the geometry of the the link system and uh, makes it lower. So over here is uh, you can definitely see that it's longer. Give me a second. You can see that it's longer. Go get that rubber mallet. It's a rubber mallet. Okay. Can't do anything. John, <laughs> you're a true friend. <laughs> yes. You know it, baby. Go see if that nut is on the other on the other side is moving, please. Okay. Is it moving? Yeah, it is. It's not spinning. The, I mean, the thing is not spinning. The the nut is not spinning, so you're good. You can continue. That's what I asked you. Is it moving? Good, good, good. Good, perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Get her done. Is it? It's not, it's not moving, good. So the brake, uh, the brake uh, mechanism over here is in the way for the Smooth. bolt to come out. So we'll have to take that, that uh, whole brake mechanism out and then uh, get that uh, bolt all the way out. It's in the way. It's spinning, it's spinning. Give me... You don't need to, just move it aside. <clears throat> yeah, just move True. it aside. Okay. One side, the main bolt out. The suspension is, is falling. <laughs> And now we're gonna get the other side. Try to pull it out. Oh wait, there's actually there's two rubber uh, seals over there in the box, John. Hey, go get it. Um, I can't. I'm videotaping. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. As you see, the kit comes with these plastic O-rings that hold uh, hold the bushing in place. So the old one has that plastic uh, bush uh, o-ring both sides and the new kit actually has them. Wait, wait, you want to put it in before. It might Help me out. What's going on over there? Yeah, it's in place. 
that's not. Yeah, because of this, because of this. No, that's not in the. It, it, it's okay. It's all. Put that down. Put that down. I can't. It was restricting. Okay, not. Yep, not is one of them. It's this one, I think. Lift it up. Lift the tire up. Okay. It's this one. Got it. Yeah. Wait. I'm spinning it. Let me. Let me spin it. That's now it is. Now it's locked. Oh, okay. Push it. Just keep pushing it. It is. On it. Hear me? Yeah. I'm pushing. Sandy, keep pressure on. Okay, it. I'm pushing. What should I do? You think you're going the other way? Okay, wrong. My bad. Don't over tight it. Later we will. Quiet. Quiet. Shut your face. Quiet. Now you have to put the bolt through. Okay, then you have to take a picture. No, I need it higher. Higher. Hang on. Okay, it's in. Wait. Wait a fuck. Push it in. Push it in like a man. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I need to spin it. Yeah, one second. It's not, it's not. I have to get Which it way? aligned. Which way? This way. Which way? Give me some slack. One second, Biatch. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. Wait. Let me push it in now. Let me tap it in. Here, here. Here. Tap it like a man. No, it's not in. Oh, it's nice. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. No, seriously. Oh, wow. Okay. You keep making fun of me. That's it. That's 55 newtons, newton meters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good and tight. No, that is good and tight. Good and tight. That's it, that's 55. Think so? Okay, now uh, let's get this the brake back. Let's see what we have. Want to measure it, John? After we installed? 22. So it's 2 and 3 eighths. That's nice. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. It's more than I thought, but exactly what I want. I'm not that tall. I need a picture. Not go ahead, a go ahead. Oh, fuck, beautiful. Oh, yeah, you're much different, you could tell. Yours. Oh, you're almost flat foot, dude. Almost, yeah. It's huge difference. I know. Really, I'm really happy with the result. I can literally get on and off the bike, which in the past, I was struggling lifting my right arm, I mean, lifting my right leg over the seat, the saddle, with the boots, and... Now I'm a pre pretty much flat-footed. You can see in the pictures that I'm flat-footed. I'll take the bike uh, next time and feel it, see if I need to stiffen up the back. Maybe it's too low now, and then I'll have to adjust a little bit with the back, uh, with the spring. But overall, I'm really happy. It was actually very fast. I didn't believe. I wasn't doing anything. John did everything for me. And look how nice it looks. Aesthetically, it's really, really nice. And it's really practical because it's much easier for me to get on and off the bike and Enduro riding when we're uh, on the track and I need, you know, need my uh, boots to reach uh, the ground. It's much easier. So really, really happy. You know what to do. Get that, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs>